I got to say, with this movie, how is it going into it? Because it's such a franchise built up. Like, how do you sit down and go, all right, I got to write Terminator, the fifth installment? Well, I think in our case, we were mostly thinking, we have to write Terminator, something that people want to see. I wasn't even thinking a number in my head. I was thinking, what can we do that yeah. can live in that universe and is worth, worth, we, worthy to be in the universe? So much of it was about the continuation of the characters. You know, the characters that yeah. are in the film they were, were very much characters we wanted to bring back and how we were going to come up with a story that was worthy of yep. their reappearance. What was, uh, you know, what, what the adventure they were going to go on was, what was the emotional journey they were going to go on. That, that, it all came down to that. And I'm terribly sorry. What is your name? I, I mean, Hanley. I love your dress, Hanley. It's so cute. How do you feel coming to this premiere with them tonight? I am, I feel so lucky to be here. Um, I've never been so excited in my life. Um, it is really fun. Now, have you guys? Do you, you let her watch the other Terminator movies? Well, Hanley's my goddaughter, so I'm not in charge of what okay. she watches. Right. So you're like, yes. Um, so if it were up to me, of you would course. Encourage it. But I can also say that uh, Hanley has and all her friends. a lot. <laughs> Hanley's very capable with firearms, and I'm not at all concerned about her ability to watch Terminator 1 and 2. Not even a little bit. R rated movies are nothing for this girl. And then James Cameron, I actually watched, he gave your guys' film a thumbs up. How does it feel to have the man himself, the creator, really just give it a stamp of approval? Um, it was a little bit unreal and very otherworldly, and I felt extremely lucky. We were, felt incredibly honored that you know that he even took the time to watch it, yes. and then, then felt that felt that way about it. Did felt so strongly, and then was willing to talk about it. It was an, it was an incredible thing to have happen. Yes. When you're sitting down writing this too, do you have in mind you know who are you going to cast? Because obviously Linda Hamilton, if you did the flashback scenes, you can't do that anymore. You know, how how do you go about that? Casting is always a, a, a sort of collaborative art form between producers and directors and writers to some degree. So I don't know. At the time, I know I didn't see anyone in my head. I think from the beginning, you know, when we when when we wrote it, we certainly thought of you know Michael Bean and Linda Hamilton, absolutely, yeah. and Arnold yeah. always. And then as we started to to get closer to casting, Amelia was one of the first on everybody's mind yes. to play Sarah Connor. We were incredibly. Uh, excited when she signed on, um, and then when the whole cast came together, it was uh, it was a dream come true. We were really really happy to, with every everyone. And certainly, seeing their performances was amazing. Yeah. And last question: Arnold Schwarzenegger impression as Terminator. I feel like everybody has to have one after working on a film. I don't. I don't have one. I, he might have one. No, no. I I, I, I wouldn't, wouldn't I would dare. dare. I wouldn't I, dare. You know what? Before, no. What if we all do it together? Is that? Yeah. 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 Here's, here's the thing: before 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 meeting Arnold, I would do it all the time. Uh, and now, uh, I, 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 I don't feel worthy. <laughs> That's exactly it. It's like you reach a point where you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. But thank you for asking. Yeah. Well, enjoy you guys.